Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you another video of Sweet Alert tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to have one input field in your alert. So let's get started. So I have just created a simple view with a button click me and let me show you code now. So I have included bootstrap and jQuery. Now let's get the CDN link and paste after the bootstrap script. Now write script. So what I'm going to do is on click of this button. Let's say write on click click me. Write this function in JavaScript. Write function click me. And inside that I'll be calling my sweet alert. So now let's get the sweet alert with Ajax request. So just copy the sweet alert part and you can see there is content with input in that. So we will be customizing that. So copy the sweet alert and paste. Now change the text. So write enter the input. And let's say change button text to submit. Now let's go and check in browser. So click on button and now you can see heading is enter the input and there is one input field you can see and button is having text submit. So you can see on clicking submit there is nothing happening as we are not handling the response of this. So let's go and write then response. This one is basically promises I'm using here. So write then response. So let me just console the response and show it to you what I'm getting. So let me just open the inspect and now write anything in input. So now if I'll click on submit, you can see in console, we can see the exact input value that we have entered. So we are getting value of our input field. So we need to send this now using Ajax to our controller. So let's go and do that. So write Ajax and inside that write type post with URL, let's say eco base URL. I'm just going to send it to home controller and function I'm going to write is form submit and write next is data. So write response and value as well response. Let me just change the key as input field. So now write success function let's say response response to now let's go and create the same function in our controller. So write public function form submit and inside that I'm just let's say echo this input post and in post I'm getting input field here as data. So write input field. Now just console your response to console.log response to. So now refresh the browser click on button. Now write input field and submit. Now in inspect you can see value is printed of our input and it is response of our Ajax. So let me just add one more sweet alert in response of this. So write sweet alert and write your inputted value is and in that write response to. So now let's go and check in browser. So click now write something and submit. Now you can see your inputted value is test. So let me inspect it and show you the input details. So you can see right now it's having just class and one placeholder. So how we can add attributes to it. So I'm going to show you now. So in content first one is going to be element and element is going to be input. After that, I'm going to add attributes to it. Write attributes and inside that write first one, let's say name, input value, then define its type, let's say text. Then write one placeholder, let's say enter a value. So now refresh and click on button. Now you can see it's having one placeholder enter a value and let me just inspect and show you. Now you can see it's having name, its type and placeholder. So that's how you can add an input field to your sweet alert. 
so you can see it's very easy to include in your code and have ajax response in this and handle promises here so you can easily include this into your project so i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching